Okay, guys, so today I'm going to show you how to strengthen your hamstrings with just a broomstick, okay? We don't need massive kettlebells, we don't need massive weights, we don't need gym memberships. We can strengthen your hamstrings, okay, with just a broomstick at home. It's one of the best exercises if done correctly. I am absolutely sick and tired of seeing this exercise done incorrectly by my rugby players every single day, okay? And all the gym goers I see in the gym, it's just absolutely the best exercise in the world if done correctly if done incorrectly it's a waste of time you're putting a lot of pressure on your back okay and we're actually training the body to move incorrectly so the rdl exercise i'll just give you a quick demo so you can see it hold the stick just slightly wider and shoulder width apart and we're going to stick our bum back to the wall that's all it is okay now if you do this exercise correctly you should not be able to get this broomstick past your knees okay there's absolutely no way you should be able to get it past your knees if your hamstrings are fully tensioned okay but a lot of people we see this okay we get them going down really far down and back up again that is tensioning your hamstrings a bit but not to the best of their ability so let's just go through what happens at the hamstrings so as the hamstrings as my bum goes back okay my knees should start to straighten that's going to stretch eccentrically load my hamstrings distally okay at the knee if my knee bends that's going to shorten my hamstrings at the bottom. Now that's a big issue I see with rugby players doing it and a lot of people in the gym, not necessarily rugby players but the general population is when they come down they don't straighten the knee, their weight doesn't shift back and they actually keep the knee slightly bent. That's why then you're going to be allowed to go past your knees towards your shin. Okay, It's a big mistake, don't let that happen. So as I stick my bum back, my knees start to straighten. When my knees straighten then that's where the lock's going to come. I'm not going to be able to get back any further. A nice byproduct of the knee straightening is the weight shifts back to the heel. Okay, so my, I want my ball and my big toe, little toe and heel on the floor, but most of the weight's coming back to the heel. Okay, and if we look at Olympic lifting, that's where you get all the weight on the heel ready to explode through. Okay, so we're training that powerful treble extension, which a lot of runners train, doing plyometrics, but they don't do the basics right. Okay, of getting the, the weight shift correct to then explode okay so that's the first point as we come back make sure the knees straighten as i stick my bum back okay pro chest okay you don't need to arch it just keep it nice and straight don't allow it to round now the other thing the other cue i use is stick your bum back and up to the wall okay so as i do that that's creating a nice stretch of my hamstring at the top here and because my knee is straightening it's creating a stretch at the bottom if i don't bend that knee Okay, so excuse me, if I don't straighten that knee, then I'm creating a stretch at the top, which is why I'm feeling tension, but I'm not fully lengthening my hamstrings at the distal end. Okay, so last time, reach your bum back. As my knee straighten, you'll feel your hamstrings there, back up again. One percenter, okay? I love my one percenters, and I've got a, um, a section um, solely for it in the inner circle. Let's engage the lats, okay, to really take up tension in the last bit of the hamstring. So as I go, imagine you have a five B coin, okay, stuck in your armpit, squeeze that and repeat the exercise. And then you're really going to feel that last little bit. That'll, that one, you rock forward, which will then drive that, losing the tension at the top. So if we keep a five B coin in each armpit, we stick a bum back and our knees straighten, okay, all my weight's going to my heels, okay, that's me. I can't go any further. If I do that, I can. If I bend my knees, I can get further. So you need to make sure knee straight, bum back, okay, and all the weight's transferring to the heels. The weight transference back is essential, okay? Just like if we want to jump, okay, and we start to load, our weight's coming back, our weight's coming forward. It's probably one of the first movements you should do and get this exercise correct before you do plyometrics because it's a great exercise to really reinforce the transfer of your body weight from the back right through to the front. Give it a try and if there's any questions, I'm more than happy to answer them.